Welcome, my name is Lyra and I'm so glad that you're joining me today, honoring your body with love and with care and always remember, your body listens to every thought you have. So if you look at your body and you say, Ugh, saggy baggy, your body says, oh, okay, saggy baggy. We don't want to do that. We want to look at our bodies and just, just know that your body is such a precious gift. It is your vehicle for living. You are not just your body. You're so much more. You are not just your body. You're not even just your mind. We think that you know, our minds are just engaged in everything. We are our minds. No, you're not your mind either. Yoga has this unique ability to bring body, mind, and spirit into perfect harmony. The word yoga means to bring together, to yoke, body, mind, and spirit. You are essentially spirit, and we kind of lose track of that. So love your body. It is your vehicle for living, and without a body, there is no life. So we're going to come on to our mats. And we're gonna, I'm gonna lie down. I'll just come into this position and slowly come down and let your belly drop. And then I'm gonna slide my left hand away from me. Maybe I'll go a little bit at an angle. And I'm gonna roll onto my left side. My right hand is going to be in front on the mat. And when you're ready, try to lift both your legs. So we really want to engage into the waistline here. We're working into those obliques, internal and external obliques. Stretch into your legs. And when you're ready, I want you to spread your toes. Can you do that? Try to create space between each toe. And then can you make a toe fist? And when you make the toe fist, squeeze hard and press into your heels. Try that again. Stretch, stretch, working those blood vessels, working those nerves, working the lymph system. Squeeze again, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze into those toes as hard as you can. One more, spread those toes, big, big spread. Maybe wiggle them a teeny bit. And again, tight, tight toe fists and point and flex and point and flex and point and flex. Now see if you can circle both feet. Are your feet doing what your brain is asking them to do? You'd be amazed at how little tiny breakdowns of communication can affect your body, but you can bring it back. Our bodies are unique. Now stretching, I'm going to bend my knees and I'm taking my feet behind me. So I'll go a little bit more this way so you can see. Try to keep your knees in line with your hips. And then I'm going to rotate the top knee up and I want to press the soles of my feet together and pull them in a little bit closer. Open wider, hold it there, keep the bottom leg off the mat and then can you close the gap. Now when I close, squeeze your inner thighs together, squeeze, clench your butt cheeks as hard as you can and pull up through your pelvic floor. Flex your feet so you're engaging into the hamstrings a little bit and try to open again. Big open, keep those heels in. If you have arthritis in your hips or your knees, these are good movements to practice. Lower back, come together again. Clinch, squeeze harder and harder. Squeeze, flex your feet, push your heels tight towards your bottom. Try one more, open up, nice and wide. Good job. If it's more comfortable to have your head lifted, you can do that. So in yoga, we're not striving for perfection. Each body is utterly unique. And close again and squeeze. And we modify, we work with modifications. Now, can you extend your legs, but try to keep them up again? These muscles are critical for drawing your belly in. So, if you've gained a bit of weight, I think we all have with what's going on in the world at the moment. 
This is a good pose to practice and try again. Bend the knees, push up a little bit higher and gently extend and let them drop. Hold it there for a moment. I'm going to bend the right leg, top leg if you're on your other side. Pull it in, maybe you can, you can hold your pant leg here yeah, if that's easier for you to do. You can hold behind your leg. You can even put a strap over your foot and hold the strap. Or you can grab your toe, pull the foot in and then lift that leg up and just hold it. Encouraging lymph and venous drainage and just breathe. When we practice yoga, we're calming that sympathetic fight or flight nervous system and we're bringing up the energy through the parasympathetic nervous system so you're calming and soothing your body hold it for a moment another deep breath in this helps working with this lymph and venous drainage really really helps it helps prevent deep vein thrombosis Gently release, the right hand will come to the left hand, flex that leg and extend. So it's not a floppy noodle, we want to press it up, extend and then very slowly start to lower. And as you bring the leg down, see if you can touch with your heel in front, lift and can you take the leg back and touch with your heel behind you. Come back up and touch with your heel in front of you. Come back up and touch behind you. You're gonna feel that stretch coming up over the top of the hip, really getting into these uh, muscles on the sides. Come back up. We're activating so gluteus maximus, gluteus medius, and gluteus minimus as well. And one more, take it over. Keep your leg behind you, bend the knee, and with your right hand, grab a hold of that right ankle, pull the foot back, and can you try to squeeze your heel towards your bottom? Now, in this, this is position one if you want to say and then can you try to contract your glutes and squeeze your hips forward that's going to bring the stretch right up into the very top if you have hip pain this is a good one for that area pull it in pull it in tighter and tighter keep squeezing back into your glute keep breathing hold and gently release and we're going to come up, take your time, my legs are going to come forward, I'm going to just feel my bum bones here and then I'm going to open to the outer edges. I always like to lift and scooch my bottom back and then I'm going to bring my hands to my toes. You can hold your, ankle, or your ankles, your shins, whatever works and then I'm going to pull back, so I'm contracting my belly back and then I'm going to arc my belly forward. So when I do this, my knees are going to bend just a little bit. Contract back. Can you pull your heels off the mat here? Yeah. Contract forward. If you have hip pain, low back pain, this is a really good movement to do. Try to remember to keep your shoulders relaxed. Contract forward. We hold frustration in our glutes and they get overwhelmingly tight. Push into those heels as you contract back, lift those heels. Drop again, arc your belly forward. I'm getting right up into these upper thighs here. Really good for the psoas and iliopsoas, this area through here. This is where we hold trauma, old trauma. And one more, contract and drop and squeeze forward, good job. And then I'm going to roll onto my other side. So I'm gonna extend my right arm. I'm not sure if I'm disappearing here, but hopefully I'm not. And when you're ready, left hand in front of you, remember you can have your head up. If, 
you prefer that. I'm going to lift my legs and once my legs are up, I'm going to spread my toes. Can those toes open up a little wider? And then I'm going to make toe fists. And when I make toe fists, I flex my feet. And then spread the toes. If you get a little bit of cramp, you might need more magnesium in your diet. Contract again. We're all short in magnesium. And as we age, we're often spread again, all short in B12. You can't absorb B12 unless you're getting all the Bs. Contract again. Now point, reach, and flex. And point, and flex. Try one more, point, and flex. And then see if you can circle your feet and your ankles. Mobile ankles will make such a difference to your balance. Everything in your body is connected. And I often say we die from our feet up. So working your feet, go the other way. Working your ankles will improve your overall health and well-being. And every step you take will be lighter and brighter. And then legs are still up. I'm going to bend the knees. Try to keep your knees in line with your hips here. And when you're ready, lift the top leg. Keep the bottom leg off the mat and bring the soles of your feet together. Open wide, squeeze it wider, wider, and then close. And when I close, I want to squeeze my legs together. Make sure there's no gaps here. And pull up into the pelvic floor. Squeeze your butt cheeks really, really hard. Open again, nice and wide. Keep those legs in. Can you feel how you're engaging into the waistline? Can you feel how you're working? through this area. Close again, keep your feet back, squeeze, flex your feet here, feel your hamstrings engaging. Try one more, open again, nice and wide, hold, keep pulling in and close again. Flex your feet, squeeze, 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 another deep breath in, you're doing awesome. And then extend, hold it there for a moment. One more deep breath in, reaching into your toes. Be aware of how you're engaging here. Good job, and gently let those legs drop. Bending the top leg now. And again, you can hold your pant leg and lift. You can hold the behind the leg, wherever you decide. Maybe you're gonna hold your toes and you're gonna lift that leg up. Oops, I forgot that I've got that little microphone thing. Sorry, I'm just going to move it a little bit so I don't squish it. There we go. There, and just hold it there. And breathe, just breathe. If your legs are tired, encouraging lymph and venous drainage will really help to energize you. One more deep breath in. And down. And when you release, that left hand will come over to the right hand, flex this foot, press it up and reaching out of your hip. Try to keep the toes pointing up, start to lower, go slow. Take your time, keep extending, push, feel these quads engaging, slowly bring that leg down. The heel is going to come forward, touch in front of you and then lift and take the heel behind you touch behind you come back up again and touch in front of you come back up and touch behind you feel that stretch we're really working on this side you're engaging into your descending colon and I often say in yoga that your large intestine is your fountain of youth. So we want to really work through this area. And then both legs down. Taking your time, you're going to come back up. And this time I'll just come onto my knees and I'll sit back down again. That's a nice little sequence to really tighten up from the waist down. Take a deep breath in and breathing out. Namaste.
Good job, you did awesome. Well done. <laughs>